21, you say? Yeah, 21. Let's talk about it. It's 1 plus 7 times 1 minus 3b. Okay? Let's first just talk real quick about a mistake that gets made a lot. 1 plus 7 is 8. Okay. 1 plus 7 is 8, but that's a mistake because why? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Why order of operations? So seven, there it is. Uh, you can add it to one, or you can multiply it. Those are the two choices you have for seven. Oh. Should I multiply it by whatever? It doesn't really matter what it is right now. Should I multiply it? Or should I add it to something? Multiply. Multiply comes before addition. That's what the order of operations is. What order do I do and do these operations when I look at any one number? At this number, should I multiply it first or should I add it first? That's the only thing we're talking about. That's just Question? This one, you don't add 8 plus 7, and then you do like 8 times 1. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did. I did one plus 7. And how did you get this negative 21 meter? So 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times negative 3, because now it's positive times a negative, so we get negative 21b. And 1 plus 7 is 8. Yeah. Okay. How did we go? I just added the 1 and the 7 first, and then we'll see. You got the 8, and then, and then so you would have got 8 no. minus 24. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was 17 because it was right next to 17. Oh. Uh, it's 21. Oh, my God. All right, so that's 21. Other city? 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Let's add it here. Mm -hmm. Negative 2 times 7 minus n plus 4. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. We're going to use the distributive property because. We can't take n away from 7 and then multiply that by negative 2. So the distributive property allows us to simplify, even though we can't you know, follow the order of operations and add these together and then multiply by negative 2. We instead distribute it in both of them. You get negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Plus negative 2 times negative n plus 2n. And we add 4 here on the end. Because we're adding the 4 to the result of whatever we get here. So there it is, plus 4. Now we look for things that can be swept together and, and collected together and see how many of those things we have. We have negative 14 ones and positive 4 ones. Negative 10. Mm -hmm. And negative 10 and 2n are they're different things, so we're not going to collect them together. We're not going to add them together because they're not the same. Got some ones, got some n's. We're not going to be able to combine those by addition. Does anybody have a question about 16? About this one right here? Before we continue? Alright then, Jasper? Um, 19. 19. Oh. 4 minus 5 Ooh. times negative 4n plus 3. Again, we're not going to do 4 minus 5 to get negative 1 because 5, well, negative 5, is being multiplied by this. Okay, so we're going to multiply the negative 5. So if you say negative, I want you to remember you have a negative there, distribute the negative along with the 5. So negative 5 times negative 4n, here's that 4, just continuing down. Negative 5 times negative 4n is 20. Negative 5 times negative is positive. 20 and n, and an n there. And then negative 5 times positive 3. Plus negative 15 minus 4. We got negative 15 plus 4. Those are 1s. We can put 1s together. Negative 11 plus 20n. Stop. There have been a few people that I see on homework reviews who will get all the way down to here, and it looks great, and then they put like 9n after that. Why 9n? Because they're doing 20 plus negative 11. Oh, they 9. And all they needed to do was stop. Just stop right there. Can't combine ones and ends, so you stop. Mm -hmm. So they're on 19. Any more questions about 19? Anything confusing? 
Push past. Nope. Okay. Great. Right. Next question. Is that 17? B plus seven. I get here less whispering. Great. All right. Uh, so here we have a negative eight. It's being multiplied by this parentheses prime uh, distribution situation. Negative eight times negative five b. Negative times negative is positive. Forty b. Forty b plus eight negative eight times seven. Uh huh. Negative 56. If you could put plus negative 56, that'd be the same thing. Plus 5b. Plus 5b. Forget about the b. 40. 40b plus 5b. 45b. 45b. Minus 56. Minus 4p is 2p, or negative 4p plus 6p is positive 2p. 2p minus 1, or negative 1 plus 2p. Oh. Okay. Just a reminder, I try to go at a speed that seems like everybody's comfortable with, but if we're going too fast, let me know. Or even too slow, Allie. You can do like negative one plus two, right, P? Like yeah, negative one plus two P is the same. Okay. Well, we did a lot of them. Do you feel like you're ready to put all your stuff away and show me Let's do it. If your brain knows? Oh no. Okay, let's put all of our stuff away. All right, here, just a simple distribution. Just distribute the 3. 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times negative 7 is 21. What? Okay. Now, we get this negative 4 times the parentheses. So we're going to distribute the negative 4. Negative 8. 5x was hanging out there. Negative 8x. Plus. Negative 4. Minus. So 5x minus 8x is negative 3x. Minus 4. Oh, I did. Oh, oh. I forgot the negative sign. Whoops. How did I get that wrong? I'm stupid. I got like. No. Wait, how is it? How's it? 
minus I four. It. How's it negative? No. Oh, one's negative four know. times two. That's a negative oh, ten oh, positive oh, negative five minus eight. Oh, yeah. I didn't do the negative four. I just went off with plus one instead of negative. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I did negative four. Happens to the best of us. I just forgot the negative. All right. It's not going to work. Uh, all right. Any questions? I mean, you may have got made a mistake on your review, but hopefully that showed you what mistake you made and now you know what to do correctly. Mac? I just work on the negative right. 3x. What you didn't get negative three x? No, I just forgot the negative sign. And the oh three yeah. X. Oh, you did three x, three x minus four. So. I, I, Close. What? So it's not negative four or minus. <laughs> What's your question? How, you multiply four times by one, right? You multiply negative four by one. How is it negative four? I thought it was just. Oh. <laughs> I, I can understand your confusion there. Um, See, what we have here is, a, is 5x plus all of this, whatever all of this is. Oh. Right? Okay. Well, all of this would be a negative 4 times a 2x plus a negative 4 times a 1, which kind of shortened it was like that. Negative oh, yeah. 8x minus 4. That makes sense. I thought it was 5x minus 4. Well, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. You can look at it a couple different ways. Um, if you look at it more like with an understood plus a negative number, kind of that makes sense. If I see it as 5x minus this stuff, minus 4 times 2x plus 1, if you kind of see it as 5x minus this, that could still work. But it's going to have an extra step. It's going to look a little different. It's going to be 5x minus, but keep in mind it's minus, like if there was a number in there for x, you do all the work <coughs> of simplifying that down, and then you subtract all that, the number that was a result of all the work you just did with all of these numbers, right? So when we subtract whatever we're about to find, you need to subtract all of it. And then we still kind of have like this negative one that we have to distribute into the 8x plus four, and distributing the four there. Still, when I think of it that way, like if I have an 8x and a 4 and I'm supposed to subtract all of it, then I need to subtract each piece, right? I need to subtract an 8x, I also need to subtract a positive 4 and minus 4. And then you know, negative 3x minus 4, same thing. Which one of you needs to go out in the hall and take a break? Okay. 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 No, you're not. Somebody's about to, because that corner is a red-faced, giggly bunch. I hear you. No, my jacket's not red-faced. Jerry's just it's close. Okay. <laughs> okay. Again, anything last minute questions about this at all? Okay. Doing pretty good here. I'd like to see us improve, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a little bit of practice for improvement. Say, if I were to compare you to the other class, you have left yourselves with much more time to uh, work on some of this practice. To give you an idea of what the practice is going to look like, let's just uh, gonna make up a problem here. Like 2x plus 5 minus 3 times 4x minus 6 plus 2 minus. What? That's easy peasy lemon green. No, then do it. Now, you are giving my. Okay, I will. We look at it this and see all the numbers and so we can take that with a lot, but let's just do it slow and smooth, right? Slow, smooth, smooth is fast. Oh. All right, now, hey, right. let's pay attention, please. Um, we have a two x here. Over we, here we have a minus three x. We could, or not, it depends on what we're gonna do right now, we could put those together. Or we can just jump right to the distribution. Either way, it's going to be the same in the, in the end. The middle steps will look different, and the end will be the same. We'll just go ahead and jump into the distribution. Okay. If your work looks like you took a 2x minus 3x and got negative x, and then a 5 plus 2 and got 7, that 
would be fine. Yeah. Okay, because we're just switching around the order of addition. That's fine. Okay. But we do have to deal with distribution at some point, so we'll go ahead and distribute. What are we distributing into the parentheses? Negative three. Negative three. Good. Negative three. All right. Two x plus five. All right. Negative three times four x. Twelve x. Twelve x. Twelve x. Negative three times negative six. Then yeah. positive eighteen. Positive eighteen. Plus two minus three x. And now, now that we've done the distribution, it's as simple as finding the things that are same and putting them together. You add you two x minus ten x minus three, or sorry, minus twelve x. So two x minus twelve x is it negative ten x minus three. Negative thirteen x. Thirteen x. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> right. We start at two x. Let's say that's zero. That's two x. And we go back 12x, and we go back another 3x, right? We go back 12, there's negative 10x. Go back another th another 3 to the left, we're at negative 13x. Okay, I get it now. Okay. 5 plus 18 plus 2, 18 plus 2 is 20, 20 plus 5. 25, 25. It is, I got it right. I know how to do this. Oh, crap. I got that right. So, for those of you who were doing just fine, you know, you arrived today and your skills were supreme, it just gives you a little bit more of a challenge. For those of you who need some more practice, it definitely is more practice. Let's look at, ooh, we have one minute. And number three, six plus three times negative five x minus four. Minus 8x plus 10. Okay. We distribute the 3. We get 3 times negative 5 is negative 15x. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Minus 8x plus 10. Here's the thing that I'm seeing a lot. Look, we have negative 15x and we have a negative 8x. Let's see what that would be. Well, here's 0 on the number line. You can think of negative 15x as being like right there. Okay. So if I start at negative 15x and I subtract 8x, which direction would I go? Left. left. To the left. Going even further into the negatives. Minus 8x. So we wind up how far to the left? Negative 23x. There we go. Negative 23x. I see positives. I see sevens. Okay. And then plus 6 plus negative 15x. No, we can't do 6 plus negative 15. This is a negative 15x. This plus? We can do, yeah, I mean, that's the same. I mean, I was just saying we can't combine these. Have a good day. Goodbye. Go. Go to lunch.